not Quill Lava. Yeah, it ain't Quill Lava. Game, it's game, Chill. Game Freak and the Pokemon Company don't come after us. It's not Quill Lava. It's Chill Lava. Yo, Quill Lava is one of the most underrated right? second evolutions yeah, ever. No one He's ever. A cutie. No one ever talked about second evolutions because they're in the middle. You know what? Like Quill Lava, man. Like, dude, that dude is an absolute cutie too. Like, Typhlosion's really cool, don't get me wrong, like, dude, oh, that yeah. dude can learn Earthquake and Thunder Punch. He can learn Thunder Punch? He can learn Thunder Punch. Oh my god, what? Oh yeah. my god, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's hold beautiful. on. I'm, I'm pulling out this move, move pool. Okay, wait, but, but before I do... So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put this in the chat really quick. Oh, there we go. I wanna put this in the chat. So, once again, I asked this before, and I'll ask it again, and I'll ask it a million other times. If you yourself would like to donate to the cause, donate whatever little time and money you got, uh, please send uh, your dollars to this uh, PayPal that I am putting in the chat. So, Benjamin Lambert at lab.longway.edu, send your, send your PayPal to that address, and that'll go straight to St. Jude's. Absolute. That's what we like to see. Any any money you can t donate, whether it's, a, whether it's a penny, whether it's a dollar, whether it's five, whether it's ten, we will greatly appreciate it. Five hundred dollars you got sitting around. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's okay. Like, yeah. so it's all for a good cause. All for every all single for penny. Jude. Every single penny goes to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. This is all for them. Once again, we also got to give a. We uh, mentioned our. We mentioned our sponsors earlier. And this also wouldn't be able to be done without this. Uh, without Longwood University, the Sigma Alpha chapter. Yep. The Sigma the, the Sigma Alpha chapter of Finding the Delta. And the esports club of Longwood University. So a big shout out for all of them. And St. Heroes. Oh, and I, we can't forget the local crew, St. Heroes. Without them, none of this would be possible. Everything has come together today for us to enjoy some Smash Brothers and also try to help up, help out some sick children who are fighting for their lives. So please, if you have anything that you could donate to us, we would In the grand all of finals of doubles, it is a rematch of the century. Mifa versus Dargan. We are versus Chalaba and Toast. It's and there's down. no gimmicks here. No plant, no, no plant boys in the beginning. No. Just straight into main. It's just savagery. Everyone knows what's at stake here. They could get a they could get an adapter and a game view controller. That's on our uh, actual gift table right back there. So you know what? There's a, a good there. online. Go get it customized. Oh my god, this is uh, if this match can actually there's, there's, there's a lot of line here. But you know what? Outside of that, Chill Lava was doing a great job at sharking underneath that little platform right there, keeping me up top. But but what's it called? Excuse me, Calatana's one of those characters that knows how to take care of herself when people are trying to shark in the music. Yoshi, on the other hand, might take a little bit of a Put stool time. onto Corrin, almost gets the egg bomb to go off, but no dice. Oh, and that's, that's gonna be one stop death. down from Toast. That's the first death of a match coming from Toast. Wonder, wonderful carry on from his own teammate. Don't touch me. <laughs> We're on the same team. Oh my, turn your dragon, stomps on him, Dargan all stage trying to recover. Waiting and just waiting for his teammate to finish everything he needs to do before going forward and trying to get some more pressure. Some good play. Again, we've seen this before, Ooh, we've seen it again. What's Gimp? What does the B reverse for the up B? And Chalava is Emblem. down. And the team fire Emblem might be on a little bit of a deficit here. Mm -hmm. But I might not, I might be speaking too soon. Mifa and Dargan both with red percent, really high percent 122 against and 103. And but the thing, the fact is, the fact is they haven't died. Until they die, everything you do is extra pressure. And there goes Mifa. That's the thing. Star that was bad DI. You cannot DI at high percents like that. You cannot DI core inside you straight up. That's how you die. Oh, with a wonderful Good parry, parry but from a miss punish. Not enough. Actually, that's a miss punish right there. Even with a good recovery, Toast taking his time, trying to figure out what Mifa's trying to do before striking, hitting him with the back air. Darkin surviving with his best floats. Floats casually back to stage, tries to gimp a little bit of, tries to gimp a uh, corn recovery there, but a great Corrin, a good down carry there. from corn, trying to get some damage, and with and the side oh, from that's Corrin. Dargan who's dead. Oh, okay, Dargan so down. now everyone back, everyone on the same page with two stocks, but red, the red team has a little bit more percent on them than uh, green team does, especially with Dargan being so fresh. Dargan applying excellent stage uh, light pressure to Mifa trying to go Ooh, for that it. Would, that would have been an amazing spike. We would have got the spike. So have it down with, with the, with the able to make it back smash. To stage. Oh, and Dargan with the Dargan smash with that so head butt. much freaking pressure. Dargan did not let Chalava breathe whatsoever. Dargan, Dargan sees it. Dargan goes for another Oh my god. Chalava making a great make recovery. Dargan with these great shields out of down airs. It's just absolute insanity Dargan, today. Dargan sees his target. Dargan knows how to stop his prey. And Dargan is, Dargan is hungry for the kill. Dargan's on the hunt. 
-hmm. Dragon's on the hunt. Calm Tosa, the Tosa playing pressure on him. Mifa trying to go for another kill. Mifa Can't see Mifa getting back onto the stage. Tosa Ooh. going up and hitting his own teammate. Mifa oh, floating no. back, lazily down. Oh, gets an up, up air. Almost the kills Tosa off the top, but Tosa is able to live somehow. Dargan getting, Dargan getting punched to the other side of the stage. The Chooses to try to, it's the same situation we saw before. Chilala versus Dargan. How's this one going to turn out again? Dargan being able to fish in and out of the different attacks Chilala is able to throw out. Oh the my god! with the explosive Yo, flame. Sometimes you got to, sometimes you got to time your teammates into it. And took the stock. Red team, red team sitting Toast back. Oh out. my goodness. Oh my goodness. down to one stock. Dargan's still on two. Toast at a really high percent. Toast is trying one. his best. Almost gets gimped by Mipa going off stage with able to land. If he, if Mipa be able to get a back throw at the left, that could be it. But Mifa taking so much damage, getting juggled by both of the sorties. On the ledge, able to make it back. Dargan also be able to... I spoke too soon. And Mifa with Mifa? the up air. Mifa kills out toast. That's I, it. Now it's a 2v1 situation. Chill Lava with no extra stocks to provide. Oh and my Mifa goodness. And Mifa with the up air that once again. That priority on that. What? Oh my goodness. That was down. a hectic first Mifa game. Mifa but that was, that was hectic, but that was decisive first game. I would say that's pretty decisive. Dargan, Dargan surviving that entire ordeal with, with two, two stocks. stocks still Mifa, left. Mifa being 68, I think it was. Yo, Joshi, was, heavy. Yo, is, I would Hey, the way Dargan's been playing, I'm starting to reconsider okay, Yoshi's approach. Maybe, maybe he might be, he might not be a heavy, but like Dargan also might just have some really good, like you know, some like Dargan has some amazing like, in and like, out like, weave, like some Tian Shinhan third eye type abilities right here. Like Dargan, Dargan knows because Dargan's got the shine. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Alright, game two is underway again. This being grand finals. That shield pressure on the shield damage by itself. They're gonna have to like be on the offensive for a little a, bit. But that was a good block by both of them. Yeah, yeah, that could have been really devastating. Mifa going in with some neutral air, Slava doing the same. Dargan About applying some shield pressure, but Toasts with a spot dodge trying to punish off of that. Dargan I think going they, I think I think I'm sorry to cut you off, my man, but I think they it's actually right. I, I think they understood that. You know, Dargan was able to come in on Chill Lava a little too well and decided to switch it up a little bit with trying to have Ike fight Dargan. But it's it's devolved back again to two 1v1s. Toast applying a lot of pressure. But that shield damage from treadmill time, oh my goodness, he's about to run on your shield, man. He's about to wear out from Tim. Oh my goodness. Oh, he does it to your team. Oh, and the dash oh, attack. Wombo combo. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't Falco. Oh my god. What are the buttons? What are these buttons? <laughs> But oh my goodness, Dargan, Dargan trying his absolute best to see how he can fight against Ike. Toast, I, Toast waiting out with a jab, oh. getting eventually getting the pressure out of Dargan who pops out Toast, a little too early. Toast has actually been putting in a lot of work in this match. Because as we've seen, Toast has been running back and forth between trying to fight Mifa and getting a kill off of there. He's also, and then keeping Dargan at bay for when Dargan starts getting He's also trying to stop and not have as much collateral damage on a Chalava. We've been seeing this happen like, before, but he's like, being, playing this way more patiently than he was before. Oh, most definitely. And as we saw last time, pace and play can really play off, you know? Oh, no, with a play doctor was able to save a lot of stocks and give the teammate Firefly some advantage. But again, that didn't work out too well. So it, it pays to be safe, but it doesn't pay to be too safe. You need right. to go on, you need to take the advantage. Of and Dargan out. with the first stock lost. Oh. Mifa sitting at a really high percent. Mifa but red off stage the completely. Dargan oh, going goodness. for the gimp and, and gets Chilala, it. Chilala is able to recover and get the kill off of it. But Toast dies. You know what? This could be even stocks for everybody. But Corrin still sitting at two stocks. Mifa at 0%, 0 percent, 0.9. Forgive me. Dargan gets an amazing edge guard right there. That's two, 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 and two. Oh my goodness. We I'm, are get, this is a much closer game than before. After after it got to winners, after it got to like winners semis or winners quarters, the matches stopped being so holy, you know? Mm -hmm. Everyone started realizing what they need to do to fight. Toast off the stage but getting back to lead, pushing pushing uh Mifa away from him. Dargan trying his best to apply some kind of pressure, lets him back on. They're but keeping them the separate, well, which is really good for, for for Red Team here. They're keeping, they're trying to keep them on the opposite sides of the stage so they can't come help each other. I mean, they that's, know that's, that their team play is really good. That's the so thing. That's what's been carrying them this entire team, this, this entire tournament. And I'm not saying being carried by team play is bad. I'm the opposite. You're in a two v two situation. There's no reason to not use your teammates. You know, mm -hmm. There's not no reason to not utilize that extra resource. 
at the edge, tries to bite him, almost gets caught by the, uh... So I'm with a great size oh. special. Oh my goodness. Dargan having a hard time trying to reach the ground, but Meepo plays a great shield for him and gets in the way, allowing Dargan to get on the ground. Dargan now pressing the pressure against Chalava. Chalava in a tough spot. Austin gets a side with another pushes him away. side special oh, with a solid regular the kill. special. Oh my goodness. Meepo down to Go. one. Ooh. Toast down to one as well. I, I know Teenage you're a goddess. I know you're a goddess. Dargan down to one stock dragon each. before. All right, let's get it. Wonderful parry from Chalava, negating a lot, negating all that damage. Dodges the, uh, dodges the, uh, what, what is her side be called? Uh, explosive flame. Explosive flame. Yeah, dodge that comes in on her. What? She Toast the, going down and taking the stock away from Chalava. I don't, I don't agree with that though. I don't agree with how Chalava but the way push Ch Meepo back on the stage. I would say that in this situation, you want to try your best to keep them separate and push them off stage. Because you know what? I'm the, I'm, I'm in the commentator's view. I'm not the one playing. I'm gonna let the players do the plays, you know? Oh, Mifa. Dargan trying oh. to go for a game and Toast is out. Oh my, not Mifa. Dargan keeping Toast out. Is this going to be another game for Dargan and Mifa? This, is, this could be heavy. This could be, if, that, as we were just talking about before, this is an entire mental game. If they're two ahead, this could put them at a mental deficit, you know? But also, like, ooh, failed, failed edge guard. Chilava trying his best. And that's it with ooh, the gives him the, Gives him the dome. He takes him to school, puts some knowledge in his head, man. Oh my goodness. Dargan and Mipha are just playing, playing excellently. Once again, this is grand finals. So Dargan and Mipha at set point, at tournament point. Dargan and Mipha are really putting in some work. Really putting in some work. You know, it's really working out for them. Mm -hmm. so we saw some great strategy from the green team trying to get the, trying to get the two away from oh, each other, definitely. but they were able to come back. They were on one stop. Mm -hmm. They were they were so close to just losing it right then and there, but they managed to come back. I am going to say I disagree on on the on the stock steal from Ike. Oh, you do? I disagree because Chalava was already at a really high percent. It would have probably done him better. It would have done better to actually have the two. Dargan starting out at such high octane does a jab one and two to try to run off Spike. Dargan is feeling himself this game. Dargan is no old bar. He is not playing nice at all. All right, so the game starts off a little hectic. Toast giving Dargan a little bit of the work here. Chalava coming in, taking some pressure off the of Toast. Mitha was with some up airs, trying to apply some pressure up above. Chalava with the up tilt into the up air. Mitha floating around with Palutena, trying to see where he can fish and gets grabbed and pushed. Mipha instead toast throws off his with the off stage, but doesn't from get any, any, on the kind of, any kind of edge guard. Chilava with the really amazing back air to block the egg. Incredible. Oh, okay. Mipha, doing, Mipha, Mipha doing very well against Toast. I wouldn't say I think Ike might be able to pull this out. Mipha doing very well against Toast. Mipha doing very well against Toast. I wouldn't I'd say Ike wins the Palu Ike matchup. But Mipha's playing that wonderfully. Mm -hmm. Knowing when he can come in for the attacks, when he should try to approach with a back air and whatnot. Chilava getting that amazing parry and turning the tables off of Mipha. Mipha, to to what a to get the game and no. Oh Once again, God. we're seeing some amazing hits from Dargan on the side when Ike goes for the side recovery. Dargan He's really seems like he understands how to fight Fire Emblem characters as a whole, like as, as a whole like character trope in themselves. He, he he really enjoys pushing them off and then playing with so much edge pressure that even when they try to recover, there's not much they can do. They just run exactly. into they just run into another attack. And the thing is, with that happening, Mipha does a great job at keeping the other teammate of uh, keeping the Occupied, you know? So even if he's not winning, he's posing a threat if they can't come and help. Chalava doing a double like, special oh to get one, once on Mifa, and then he's like, you know what, Doug? I'm gonna do the same thing. Ch Chalava is still the only one with three with three stocks. Let's see how, he, how long he can make his last. Yep. A complete difference from difference from last game, though. Last game, Green Team was having the, was having total control of the match, and now now they're trying. Mifa snuffs the, stuffs out the side beat, and Toast, Toast goes down. down. Is this gonna be a each each team? Uh, both teams are at four stocks, but Chalava sitting at three, Toast sitting at one. A green team, both of them have two. This might put them in a better situation Good overall. Good stuff from Chalava. He's trying to play safe. He's staying back, looking for what he can fish out of him. Dargan with tries a great fall, shield tries ooh, to go with the head, but he was trying to fall completely. him off stage. Meteor and smash and death. into the that's ground the pound punish. Death. That's the first death off of Chalava. But I don't think he's gonna let this one affect him all no, that much. He's gonna. He, stock, can, you know? he knows he can play a little bit, little bit more riskier now. He can. You know? He can. Exactly, he can afford you know? a little bit of chip he damage. Like they're not gonna be fishing for kills and whatnot. So now he's able to, you know, do a little bit more risky things and not have to worry about getting sent to his death. Exactly. You know. But treadmill time, putting in so much work, he was trying to lose some weight on his face. <laughs> he with a back oh, throw. That would have been too much. Try to go for the gimp. That was that was incredibly slow. Toast following up. Though Dargan just died. I don't think you saw that. Dargan had the mindfulness. 
that when Ike was recovering, he drifted backwards and then upbeat on the stage instead of trying to uh, instead of trying to recover straight up, he would have been spiked by Ike's upbeat. That's great mindfulness. That's what it takes to be a good player. But can we talk about Dorg? Uh, what happened there is Mifa almost Ooh, surfs up. Goodness, my guy, he just baited out the air dodge. Dargan and Mifa working in perfect. And there game. goes Toast. There takes goes, the takes stock. Once might, again. Is this going to be a re is this gonna be a replay of last? Chalava was one was a much higher percent last time he took that stock. Every, everyone is at one stock right now, but the way things are going, red team is gonna have to pump it up a little bit more. It seems like green team has their card and understands how they play as a whole. Chalava with a great parry, trying to get some up, Ooh, up air from Mifa. Gets the kill. Chalava's and done. Now it's and now it's all toast by for Dargan. This is a Green heavy team. hitter in this Ike, Green but we team don't know how it's going to go. Maybe about to take this tournament. Let's see what I if Ike has anything to say about that. Missed the Nair, blocked into Bear. The, into the back throw. Let he gets the recovery. The stage. Exploding Flame doesn't really do much, but now he's in the middle of the stage between the two of them. Up and not taking it, but it's and close. And there's the up air, air, and that's the and star that's KO the, that's for the, the tournament finish. for doubles. Your grand finals, your grand champions, Dargan. Oh, oh, I thought, oh, you guys are winning. Never mind, we had a bracket reset. Let's get it. Oh, oh even better. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right, so we got, so the score's going to go up to three, and then it's going to go all the way back down to zero, because we got a bracket Reset. I apologize for lying to you guys. I was caught up in the hype. Anyway, so... <laughs> Re reset. Yo, it's rewind time. Reset lives. Oh, my goodness. That was a... Dargan, Dargan and Mifa, can we talk about the teamwork? Like, one thing that I know is at the very end there, when they're when they're trying to take out Toast, right? Dargan, Dargan is great at playing at the leg. Dar don't get me wrong. Dargan is great all around, right? He's great on the stage. Yoshi's a great character for that. He can float across half the stage with his nair and everything, even with like a sour, with like a sour lingering hitbox, and still push you back enough. But what I've seen them do is that they pass off to each other, even if it's not a hit. Like at the very end there, um, one of them got. Oh, we seen a Mario instead of an Ike. Is this the change? This is the change. That's a of that's a life. That's a lot of power and range loss. But that's a lot of rushdown and speed gain. So let's see if this is the change that they need. You know. Honestly, we have a, a Mario, a Mar I don't want to call him a Mario, American Mario. A, Mar a Mario? <laughs> a Mario. <laughs> All right. Let's see what Toast can do with this roster change. Chalava immediately shielding against the Dargan's down air. Dargan just applying some pressure with his egg. Ch Chalava just trying to get himself, you know. You know. From what I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry again once you cut drop, but like, from what I was seeing here, this game is turning out to be a little bit more defensive than the last one. Oh my goodness, Dargan, please. Please, I have like hard palpitations, you can't do that to me. <laughs> but like, this game is turning out to be a little bit more defensive, you know, you see, in the beginning, they were holding shield on ledge a little bit more, they were holding on shield on platform a little bit more. Mipha's already a patient player, but Mipha opting to hold ledge earlier. They're t trying to take it a little bit slower, and I don't blame, I don't blame either of them for that, because on a bracket reset in itself, that's a lot of pressure on me, right? And then, we, no matter which side you're on, and then you want to be able to like, figure out what you can do, you know, change the tides if you want to be able to keep, keep the course. But anyway, Mifa, Mifa taking them on a joy ride. That's off the top. That's off Chalaba the top. Chalaba down again. There was no DI that could have saved him from that. Chalaba losing the stock. Mifa out all the stops. All the stops. Mifa, this, 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 that, that, that's what this has been leading up to. Mifa was just trying to unlock his full potential. Mifa's like Goku, man. He can't go full. He can't go full this strength. This is the power until, of the ultimate yo, instinct. Oh my god, he can't go full strength until he's pushed there. You know. Yep. Other than that, I, I don't. I don't agree with. My one thing is that Mifa, Mifa, oh, that's what I wanted. I want ledge cancel up bees coming out of Mifa. That's what I'm looking for. Because that is a great asset that any teleporting character has and should be utilized a lot more, honestly, you know? Should be used a lot more. But he runs into an up smash from the big headed Italian plumber himself and loses a stop for it, man, gets sent down the drain. Oh my god. But Dargan's goodness. still at 127, still on three stocks. We've already talked a lot about his air game. I don't He's able to recover perfectly. Chalab trying to play it defensively but he isn't he's just trying to bait this out just trying to get something out of this of this big green dinosaur but isn't able to get it can't get it with the special Dargan going in with the down tilt not able to get anything out of it toast making good recovery Mifa making good recovery as well each each on red team sitting at a really high percentage on two stocks with Dargan on 141 and three Mifa going to the explosive line can't get it anything Chalava coming in good parry from Chalava trying to get the special but Dargan was ready Ooh, for it and that's gonna be a death from Corrin 
That's a lot of pressure right there. But and Toad with a forward smash taking out Dark. Oh Lionel. my goodness, dance on him, just throw him back. That's what you do best. My girl Palutena. One thing I don't really fully agree with is letting I'm not I'm not I'm not saying anything against people, but as we've seen so far, Dargan is the one Dargan is the one who has been the one cinching out kills mostly. You know, Meef was when he set them up. And I don't agree with when uh, it was earlier, Dargan they let Dargan like lazily list back the stage. I'd say if anything, just like in the last match where was Firefly who was playing Ganon and Dargan and them focused him, I say focusing Dargan would be a very good play on Red Team's part, solely because he's the one who seems to orchestrate a lot of it. And not saying anything against Mipha, Mipha seems the one to be the one who like follows with the plan. If you can take it out, if you can take it out at the core, it could work for you a little bit better, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm feeling on that. But Dargan, but like it's really tough to get anything out of this great parry from Chalava. Seeing it go through Ooh, the ledge, Dargan but then up with the know, tail. Oh my with goodness. The up air and Toast is out. Dargan scares me so much with the way that he plays neutral. He floats off the stage, but it, it, make, it makes it look like. Oh my goodness. Oh, that could have been terrible to push me the other way. That could have been a stage fight. Toast is actually dead. Toast, toast is, is done. actually. Toast, toast has is been toasted. toasted. Toast is toast. Oh my goodness. All right. So this might be a. Dargan going for an actually really good, really good um, edge guard mechanic there with the Tenmo time. There's not enough, like, if it, if it weren't for Corrin or something like that, if it was like a single hit, if it was a single hit, hit recovery, Tenmo time would be a, would have been an amazing, amazing gift for that. And that's going to be bad it. DI on the back here takes out the last <laughs> stock, and Green Team continues the to run. Stop. Oh my, there's a reason why they're green. They're trying to fight for planet Earth. You know, they got this Mother Captain Gaia. Planet on this we, we, they right got now. Mother Gaia on their side. They got Captain Planet. He's a hero. Gonna take, take you down, down to zero. <laughs> Easy. Honestly, my thing is like with a name like Pollutino, you're polluting everything. All Captain, Captain America's on the side. Right? You know what I'm saying? You just do. You just do. Yo, what, 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 what do you like on your toast? What do I like on my toast? I'm a simple man. Sometimes, sometimes I just eat toast. You need to roll some, ready to toast. Sometimes I just eat toast. Sometimes I like jelly on it. Sometimes I have peanut butter and honey. Peanut yeah. butter, alright, that's a solid. What about, uh, you ever done this butter, cinnamon, and sugar? Oh, dear God. Yeah, no, butter, yeah. butter, cinnamon, and sugar Ooh, is the sick. actual meta when it comes to toast. At the, oh, there's there's sandwich meta. Yeah, there's sandwich, there's meta. sandwich meta. There's a meta oh for everything. Oh my goodness! Is there door opening meta as well? Is like there's specific ways you need to like open doors. I want to get like I want to be meta everything. Meta with everything. That's what you're talking about. We got meta. fast food meta. <laughs> we got toast meta. Oh. We've gotten uh, door opening meta. We also have smash meta. And yeah. honestly, Ike actually fits in that pretty well. We talked about this before, but Ike. I, oh, I don't agree with that S match right there. Mipha could have kept that train running if he would have done a grab instead of S match. But S match got got uh, got blocked. Now Ike is back and able to uh, do do a little bit of what he does best and swing Mipha his big sword around. Mipha, Mipha with the back throw. It, if you need to follow him with explosive and good spacing from Mipha, Mipha, Mipha with the up a lot of damage. Mipha getting a lot of Mipha, damage. Mipha's finally hitting his stride. He's, Mipha, he's, he's, he's really warmed up. He's, Mipha, Mipha's like an old car, you know? It takes a little bit to warm up, but when he starts going, it only, it only took him getting through the almost the entire tournament, but now <laughs> he's finally him, warmed up. It took him to grand finals, but you know, he's he's more than putting in work. Mipha's ready. Mipha's, Mipha's controlled. When we're talking about focus, that's what Mipha is right now. He's on point. Did you see that? Instead of just trying to attack, uh, follow uh, Toast off stage that back throw, he instead started attacking Chill Lava. He is on point. He's just he's clearing the stage. And there's Dargan getting with up the Dargan taking the kill. The air into the he jumps up, jumps above the up air, not taking any damage. Mipha still on the ground, gets knocked off stage. Toast taking center stage. Chalaba with a good parry. Mipha trying to go in and save his teammate, but isn't able to land a dash attack or the neutral air. Mipha just trying to play this really safely. Dorgan with the give on the toast! With the spike, man, you flew to your death! Oh my goodness, that was a That, that was, was a behind a right the angle. back Ooh. turn around. What's up? That was, that was a right angle death, man. You mm. went straight 180 degrees and went down 180 degrees. That's a straight line. Let's get it. Oh, oh my god. Chalava with, with the up air, he's been really landing these trying to apply the pressure on the Mipha. Oh and goodness. with the forward smash, able to take out Toast Dargan with the, with last the, last the last surfs no. up and the follow up from Toast. Oh, take it out, Dark. Mipha, Mipha pushes oh, Toast off stage. It's getting hectic. 
Oh my, the floatiness, man, looking like Jigglypuff just push you off stage and just can't come back. You may not die, but you're gonna have to kill yourself because you know what, there's nothing else you can do. Chill so Lava, Chill Lava exploding, man. though. Chill Lava exploding backwards, trying to get Mifa back where he did do Toast trying to land these tilts, gets it on Mifa, goes for the forward air, gets it on Mifa again. Green team able to regroup and actually had a little bit of stage pressure mm -hmm. there. They're trying oh my, to get that Toast, a, oh my, and that's Toast a side. double! You may, not have, you may not have expected this, but Toast was able to force Dargan's hand and push him off stage and get him with... Is that Chalava's death? Took it and Chilava then Chalava down once dead. again. Toast against Green team once again world. seems to be riding this wave of confidence and momentum. There was nothing that Toast could do there. He had been crossed up by Yoshi's down, uh, down air and all he could really do was dodge. In a situation like this, he really has to call out his shot. Because one wrong attack and he gets punished for it. Heavily, he has two people to fight, not one. So there's not much he can now he, do. But now he can play this safe. Is that gonna be it from Mifa making an even match? Nope, he's gonna recover on the stage. Right. He's putting some pressure on the Dargan. He, Mifa waiting patiently, trying to get something. They're gonna go for the yes. throw. He gets out of the grab. Nothing They're going way too greedy with Dargan. Nothing out of this right now, but you know what? He's still stacking on the percent. There's not much you can do to get himself out of trying the Trying to go from the tilt, oh, and Dargan takes out his own teammate. Yeah, yo, Mifa. surf's up, bro. <laughs> Now it's 0 to 20 and Toast with 94 with the back oh, air. We could have had a one. No nope, one, no one tries to get him. Let's him get back to stage, but that, honestly, that's probably where they want him. Mm -hmm. Don't want to go for anything too risky. Ike is that power character that can do something. Tries to get him with the up B, barely misses. Trying to get him with the up air, can't get it either. Misses, the, get, misses the egg toss. Toast is trying his best. Nair sends him off stage. Dargan, Dargan on the hunt, but doesn't do anything. Toast mm -hmm. back on stage, trying to get the That's it with the back air shield and, slam. And that's going to be another. Another round for Dargan, Dargan and Mifa coming from the back. This may, this may be a rematch. This might be a rematch, but oh my goodness, this rematch is something else. Dargan and Mifa went through the, went through the ringer, and they've really come back and they're shining. You know, they spent time in the hyperbolic time chamber. They're able to stay Super Saiyan with no loss of stamina. No sir. No loss of stamina. No, they are ready to fight Cell. Let's get it. <laughs> oh. Who's Gohan in this situation? Who is Gohan in this situation? Um, I'd say Mifa's Gohan. I'd say Mifa's Gohan. I would say Yo, Mifa's, Mifa's Gohan. Mifa is Gohan. Mif Mifa's Gohan in this situation. Dargan, Dargan's Goku, but I, I'm just on it right now. Mifa, no, no, no. Yeah, like, uh... Yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's like, if we, if we just have those two to pick from, I'd say, like, Dargan is Goku solely because, like, he's, like, the one on top and, like, making most of the plays. And he's, like, the strong one, you know? Yeah. And I'm not saying Mifa's not strong, but I'm saying, like, Mifa's the type of person that's just, like, we saw him before and, like, you know, even in, like, the Pauly matchup. Doctor, oh, play Doctor's actually oh, getting like a little bit of. What? Oh my god. Am I eyes oh, deceiving me? Yo, what is this? What is this? Is that? We, is that two is goddesses? That the Palutena this, versus this town Palutena. is only big enough for one deity. <laughs> Oh Chalava, we haven't seen Chalava's Palutena. We're gonna watch it. But as we as we watch it right now, that thing is from what we can see in the first seven seconds of matches, Chalava's Palutena is quick. It is fast. It is swift, and it's giving Dargan some trouble. Already at 51, getting pushed back. Green. Green opting to re, uh, to recoup it with one another, but there's not much really anything that they can do right now because as Red Red seems to be centering them together, getting a lot of damage off on, off on Toast, but Red still seems to be holding actually not not a good advantage anymore. Um, holding a little bit more percent than Green Team does, with it now devolving into the two one v one. Dargan S smashes Toast off the stage, but brings it, but Toast able to get back. Mifa trying to get Toast off stage, manages to hit him with the, with the back air. Freaking Chalava coming in and knocking Dargan off of the stage as well. Mm -hmm. We're getting some higher percentages down here, and Mifa there goes Toast. Hey, yo, I told you, Mifa is Gohan. With each match, he's just getting Toast stronger getting and stronger. getting out. Mifa stop coming Dar in with revenge. Dargan Straight revenge. And Dargan and Chalava still the only ones with three sides. And Chalava with the wings of justice taking out Dargan. Chalava, Chalava's character switched to Palutena. Was it the right move? Right now, it's looking like, yeah. But on but Toast, as, was that an SD? Might have been an SD. Yeah, might have been an SD. Either way, that's In too the quick of a point. That's too quick of a death. Chilaba losing Chilaba a stock. Losing his first stock. That's not finally. something that you want to happen. Red is pushed against the ropes. Three stocks to four. Let's see what Green can do with this. Let's see if they can use this lead to their advantage. Dargan playing Dargan the best. 
green team in general just using really good short hops. Their short hops into neutrals into down airs are just absolutely devastating. They like red team can't land any of their tilts. It's Nothing. really insane. Oh my god, almost had a two combo back air to uh, F smash the effort to uh, fair spike. But Chalava barely able to like fish out fish way out of that one. Even with the back but throw. That's what I was saying. They set each other up so well, even if it doesn't look like it. When they see another, when they see an, uh, an opponent fly past them, they're always ready to do something. Even if it misses, it's still intimidating when it puts pressure on them. It forces them to do something. There's no stops on this. Dargan taking both of them on by himself. Oh, that Trying to go for that some synergy. Been a combo. That could have been something. Chalava with a back air taking out Mifa's stock. Chalava. One to two. It's back to even again. Yo, is is you... Dargan going out? No, he Dargan makes it is back. Still here. Dargan's in at 116%. He's putting in work. Great parry decides instead to punish Toast for trying to recover instead of trying to attack Chalava. Dargan with putting the back on air. All putting the pressure. More pressure. Oh, Toast just goodness. going for a full across the stage and trying to take on Mifa. Dar Dargan He's not messing with that, with, that, with that Yoshi. He does not want to be gimped for the, the fourth and final time. Dargan focusing all of his attention on Ike. Oh, and up air it, from two oh of them. Oh my goodness. Everyone now at one stock, but Chillop is in the worst spot of them all. Sitting at 114%, almost anything from either one of these, either two of these characters can be the death of Chillop, but Chillop is still trying his very best. Short hopping, trying to come with fierce, but not doing much. Dragon still putting on the work. Is that almost, is that a that jab was, reset? Oh, oh we almost God. had combos coming out on we almost had the Mipha, dinosaur. We almost had Mipha and SD from the, from the side of the, from the platform. Oh, really? He almost didn't make the recovery. And Toast, Toast is SD. out. It's all up to chill lava sitting at 123. What we're going to do, is Mipha going to come through and show us his magical Gohan powers? Is Mipha going to do it? Misses the up air. Chalaba's still Level alive. Neutral off the left air. side of the off left side Teleport. Stage. On, on stage recovery. That is bold. That but it's the down done. smash. Shake what your mama gave you, Yoshi. Win that money. Win that money. <laughs> That's Dargan and Mipha. Uh, in grand finals. In grand finals. Grand champions go to Dargan and Mipha. They lost. When that when that match came on before, they lost 3-2. to two. They did a complete 6-0 sweep. That was amazing. But you know what? Incredible we synergy. are finished now with doubles, and we're on to the best part of a Smash tournament. And we talking singles. singles. We talking singles. We're not talking the things you put on your roof. We ain't talking shingles. We talking about the way you be on Valentine's Day. I'm talking, we talking about. We talking about the cheese you put on your sandwiches. We talking We're talking singles. the singles. You throw it on your baby. Throw it on your cat. <laughs> throw it on anything and everything. We talking straight oh singles, and it's all gonna happen right here at Smashburg here at Longwin University, hosted by the Sigma Alpha Chapter yes, Phi Mu sir. Delta offer. Yes, sir. I've completely forgotten everything. Oh, it's a... I can, For St. Jude's I, Children's, Children's Hospital. Research Hospital. There we go. You know what? You always got to have someone to pick you up. Just like we saw our doubles. That's why you have two commentators, not one. We got each other fast. So just in case you joining us now, my name is Everett. My tag is Gangsta Gwen. Sitting to my left is, is Christian... Game Attack as Pyrals, thank you very much for tuning in to this wonderful Saturday evening now. Oh my, we've been here for a good, good while. We've been streaming for a good three hours, and honestly, there's not much I want to do with, my, with a Saturday afternoon, you know? No, sir. Not only do I get to talk about Smash and watch some great Smash players, we get to do it all for a good cause. All Every good cause. single penny that comes into our hands, virtual or physical, goes to the children at St. Jude's Hospital. So if you have any kind of money whatsoever, we would really appreciate it if you could help us out so we can help whether it's, some Whether children. it's a penny, whether it's a few cents, whether it's a dollar, whether it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whether twenty, Forty, fifty, anything you can give. Whether it's pocket lint, whether it's a paper clip, whether it's a half-eaten chip. Don't actually send it. Was throw it in the trash. Please. It's nasty. Please. But like, if you have yeah. money, that's pretty nice. <laughs> oh my god. Talk about a money match. Money match. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, hey, I like to see a money match on this stream. Oh this this god. started this started out. This man started out a little shaky, but like we we running, we running this. this we running pretty well. So we're gonna take a small break and we're gonna get right back and we're gonna get some singles games going. Yup. As soon as we come back, what's gonna be on the screen is good old fashioned one on one head to head competition. That's what we're here for. Oh. Until then.